guys, welcome back to Mama 3 and Me, where we talk all things motherhood, marriage, and ministry. I am Brianna Lightfoot Smith. I am a mom of three boys, if you're new here. And I started this mini series earlier this week just to refresh, reflect, and reset for the new year. Um, in my first video, I went through our garage just sorted things out in there that have been giving me anxiety for weeks and today i'm actually going to be going through our closets and our drawers to see what things we can donate and give away especially because we just celebrated christmas so the boys got a bunch of new clothes and there's just no reason for us to hoard a bunch of clothes that they either don't wear or they've gotten enough wear out of and we can donate to another family um for those of you guys who have babies which i'm assuming you do if you're watching this channel but I know there's others who are just like prepping for the time that comes when you do have kids. Kids grow so fast. And so there's certain things that my boys don't even wear once. Like we, we've we given away new items because they just outgrew it before they had a chance to wear it. So that's what we'll be doing today. I'm going to be going through my clothes as well. Just things that I know that I haven't worn or things that I can give away too. Um, but without further ado, let's get into this video, boo. obvious that you don't wear something a lot then you should not is just hold on to it. Is this something trash? Is this something trash, Ma? Hmm? Is this something trash? Oh, um, this is trash. Oh. Trash? Mm-hmm. That's not trash? No, is that trash back behind you? So this is all stuff that we'll donate. We're done? Pardon we're going to drive and then we're going to donate somebody else mm -hmm. yeah not today but because we still have more stuff to sort through before the end of the week because I, I haven't even gone through y'all stuff I yet some more my stuff are toys 
toys. I, I went through y'all's books, so that's good. I'll get some more snacks. Hey, what? I like lunch. I want some cheeseburger. I'm going to eat cheeseburger. All right. Cheese sandwich. Okay, we are done with the closet. Just finished our lunch break. So now I'm about to head into the boys' room to start sorting through their toys. I already went through their books yesterday. Um, books that they had duplicates of or books that, again, like, they've gotten their use out of and are still in good condition so we can donate to someone else. Um... I'm not looking forward to their closet, but thankfully I take things out of their closet pretty regularly. So I just don't, it's, it's so specific, but I just don't like all the baby anchors, the ones that like have the pants attached to it. Cause it just feels very cluttery to me. So um, eventually I'll probably get some new hangers for their closet. But until then we gonna work with what we got. So toys, their closet and that should be it because I already have clothes downstairs that were donating that I had in the garage um, set aside already. So probably have to make like several trips in different places, take different things. Like I know I want to take some stuff to Goodwill because we have some electronics, like an old printer and stuff like that. So I'm going to take that to Goodwill. Same thing with like some decor stuff that we have. Take that to Goodwill. Um, I'll probably take the toys and clothes to the local mission because um, they take pretty much everything but i don't think they take like electronics and stuff so let me head into their room i can't lie your girl is tired but when i open up their closet and it's all clean and i see that stuff actually fits in their drawers it will be well worth it like this is already making me feel good like look at this Look, look at this organization look at there's clear space like what is that so totally worth it i forgot to mention i actually have a new like toy organization thing that i bought for the boys that's going to replace their toy chest because whenever they're looking for something they just take everything out as y'all about to see in a second they just take everything out and leave everything on the floor so this new um toy organization thing i'll link to it in the description box and i'll put a picture of it somewhere around here but the new one is like basically like compartments like little cubby hole type things for each of their toys so i think that's gonna work so much better so if they want their dinosaurs they can go right to them or if they want their um Power Rangers, they can go right to them, whatever the case may be. So I'm excited about that, but that won't get here till next week. So in the meantime, in between time, I'm gonna organize what they have already. All right, for real, let's go there. Mm -hmm.
we done. I still have to actually go and drop off all the things and I need to like take the trash downstairs and re-clean <laughs> their rooms now that everything is actually sorted and taken out and all that jazz. It just shows you, your house can look clean and not really be clean. There could be all this hidden clutter. Um, but I'm thankful to be done. It took about five hours, including, you know, a few breaks, like talking to my mom and eating lunch. I'm feeling every bit of it because my back is hurting, my feet are hurting, but like I said, totally worth it, especially to start the new year all organized. <sighs> when I wake up tomorrow and I open up the closets and they're all clean, I'll be like, okay, I'm sore, but look at this beautiful creation. <laughs> uh, so let me know if you guys would like to see more videos like this. Like I said, this is a part of a mini series, but if in the future you want more organization videos, cleaning videos, give this a thumbs up, leave me a comment, all that stuff. <laughs> As you can see, this guy is ready to get down. So I'm gonna get him a bottle, but I will see you in the next video. Bye. Oh. Say bye, Joshua. <laughs> bye, y'all.